Now, South Africa's greatest ever women's golf player, Sally Little, launched her book, Capturing the Fire, in Cape Town this week. The book details her 28-year career, the highs and lows being boycotted and not being allowed to enter countries because of apartheid. Gary Player was a mentor and she now has a passion to produce future women golfers in South Africa. Let's take a look. A book about a life and career of South Africa's greatest ever women's golfer. A career that started in 1971 at the age of 19 and ended in 2005, having won numerous titles, including majors. I hope that this book will be instrumental in some young children's lives, understanding that you ha if you have a dream, never, never stop, always focus, you can do it. Little was ranked number two in the world for years after the legendary Nancy Lopez. For me, a great career, 15 wins in the U.S. and quite a few internationally. So I feel I really had achieved a lot of my goals, but most of all, I played a sport with, it was my ballet. I love playing golf and still do today. As a South African competing abroad at the time, she was boycotted, heckled, never allowed into countries like Mexico and refused entries into tournaments. It was difficult, especially I was so young. I was a baby when I went out. And you know, when you're, ch when you're a youngster, you don't think about anything. About All my focus was to win and to play golf. So when I got boycotted or, or I was not allowed into a country, it hurt. Little was the woman's version of Gary Player when it comes to South African golf. And the Black Knight was her idol and mentor. Gary was my idol when I was a youngster. I met him when I was 12 and there were no female idols for me to look up to. And Gary really showed a lot of interest in my career throughout my career. He always checked on me. He was a fabulous mentor. Little lived in the U.S. for years but relocated to South Africa and Cape Town seven years ago and the passion still burns brightly. And now coming back to South Africa, my goal is to find some young youngster to step up and hopefully she'll be of color to go onto the international stage and win and, and hold that flag high for South Africa. That's my goal. Sally Little has been an inspiration. Who better to galvanize women's golf in South Africa to help unearth the future stars that can bring glory and success to the Rainbow Nation. Craig Murray, SABC News, Cape Town.